Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to show off this new product from Avalon King. It's a spray ceramic. It also doubles as a detailing spray and I've been dying to find a good one and at least one that complements their original product which is called Armor Shield 9. It's a DIY ceramic coating that you can put on your car. Now one of the issues I had with actually just doing this video in general means that I have to admit to some stupid fails I made over the past year. Fail number one, and some of you caught it because I did a video about how to apply the ceramic coating. Go check out the link there. In that video, they recommend using their IPA solution, and I thought it was terrible. Well, that was stupid on my part because it wasn't IPA solution I was using. It was something else that I shouldn't have been using. So if you go check out that video, make sure you use the IPA solution that I mentioned in there, not the... Uh, touch-up spray I was using because that does that's not a cleaner <laughs> that's why I was struggling with it now that's fail number one now fail number two I'm going to show you a spot on the on the hood here that has wax on it compared to this new uh, spray detailer and that's fail number two because I just told you I uh, ceramic coated the car why am I waxing it okay you got me so when I sprayed the chassis stiffening brace system I put on the GTO with POR 15 during filming that I knocked down a wall of my paint booth and overspray got over the whole front of the car yeah because I didn't have it covered that's fail number two fail number three I had to clay the whole car whole front end of the car and repolish it because of that and that took hours and hours and hours that's why there's no ceramic on it because I polished it off and it was um, right before a quarantine cruise. If you've never seen one of those videos, those are fun. Um, but I didn't have a lot of time to waste doing ceramic coating, so I just waxed it real quick. So it's got wax on the car. It's like two months old. And today's process, I'm going to show you how to remove that wax to use this new detail spray because it does have ceramic in it. Uh, and you can use this wet, dry, on your windows, on your wheels. It doesn't matter. And that's why I love it because it also complements the ceramic coating that they have. So let's get to it. Oh, by the way, yeah, I like my shirt. Yeah, go, go down, check out a link for my shirts. I do not get paid on these shirts. It's just something fun that I thought you guys might like. And there's also a discount code below for... Um, any Avalon orders, so go hit that up. It should get you $25 off. Now, let me show you the spot on the hood that I experimented with. Now, I realize this is probably tough to see, but can you guys see this line? I had put down a one and a half inch piece of painter's tape across the hood, and I did this side with the new Armor Light, and it is super smooth. I love it. This side still has wax on it. Same with this little section here. So this looks a little shinier because I had overspray over the tape. But this is what it looked like beforehand. So the wax is maybe a slightly oxidized. Another great thing about ceramic, it doesn't oxidize and fade out like that. So today what we're going to do, I'm going to leave the camera here and show you guys what it takes to get this prepped. So like I mentioned before, make sure you get the IPA, that's isopropyl alcohol solution. They have a couple different sizes, but it's a squirt bottle. And you can spray it right on there. And now you can kind of see where the tape was. And you take a microfiber towel and you start just taking it off. Now you might have to do this a few times because it depends how much wax is on your car. And maybe that's part of the problem is some of that wax on there was just getting old, but I can still see it's faded in this area. So the best test to do is actually run your fingers across the surface. That's the test for claying. If you need to clay your car, this is going to be rough, feel like sand, fine sandpaper. But when I get down here, what's already done, it's super smooth. You can see my hand in the reflection. Yeah, it's super nice, but it's really easy. So just go over your car several times with the IPA. Make sure there's no wax on that surface and you can feel the difference when there's wax versus no wax. And after you're done with that, we can easily apply our Armor Shield Light. So here's the Armor Shield Light, not lying. And you can spray it right on the surface or you can spray it right on a nice microfiber cloth that looks purple. Flip 
Flip over your microfiber to the dry side. And watch the magic. That is my new favorite detailer. Oh my God, I can't wait to get in the sun. Oh man. Guys, it came out great. Uh, it's super smooth too. I can't even explain it. So like right here, it's not, it's not super inclined, but watch the bottle will not stay here. How crazy is that? Oh my God. I love it. See if I can get it outside and get in the sun for you guys to see. Let's get out in the sun, shall we? Raise your hand if you love cold starts. Yeah, I do too. Oh yeah, also, uh, raise your hand if you like cutouts. Yeah, me too. So now we're out in the sun. Yes, that's how flat my <laughs> trunk is. You can see that tree pretty good. Number one cardinal rule about auto detailing or washing your car is to never do it in the sun. Well, that's what makes this unique is we can do it in the sun. So there we go. Oh yeah. Oh, and so another tip. I've gone through like two of these already on the whole rest of the car, so I would get three or four, and I like these are double-sided. They have, uh, you know, one side will do wet, and the other side I'll use to dry. Pretty cool. I love this stuff. The other, the other key takeaway is when you take it out in the sun, let's say you did it in your garage, you'll find all your errors, and you can spot clean and touch it up in the sun. So you know when you roll into that car show, you're not going to have any smudges, which is annoying, right? Now, next episode is going to be exciting because Phytech invited me to dyno the GTO and do some tuning. So I can't wait for that. If you don't have a Phytech system and you're looking to get one, I did a full playlist on how to install it. So check that out. But stay tuned, subscribe if you haven't, so we're going to have some fun on the next episode, and I can't wait. So thanks for hanging out. Until next time, building fast, driving faster. See ya.